we were going to burst uh, out in California. And so we felt like we needed to investigate a secondary uh, distribution center. That's when we uh, worked with Bastion and came up with uh, the plans in Indianapolis. This DC was planned to open in June 2020, and it did open on time, which is a testament to the teamwork between Bastion, Cal Carthage, Puma, and AutoStore to deal with all of the additional challenges to make this place open on time and on budget. It's one of the biggest investment in the Puma history, and certainly the biggest investment in Puma North America. We designed this facility with expansion in mind. This grid was built to hold 305,000 bins, which is the largest auto store in North America. The new way of doing business is ASRS, you know, pick to person. So this is the new solution. We feel pretty confident in having auto store in place. In order to get to the next level and the competition and ever growing e-commerce, Puma is actually forced to consider auto store Blackline. We chose the Blackline robot from AutoStore because it holds a larger bin, which can hold more footwear. We are getting at least 20% faster than the red line right now. Within eight to 10 seconds, we can change the batteries from the black line and can pretty much run the whole operation 24 seven. We also have a new type of port and it's called a relay port and it's significantly faster. It's much more what we would consider employee friendly so that uh, the employees are able to get an effective way to interact with the technology so that there's not as much walking that's involved. It's just new innovation. And so anytime we can grab new technology and get better, uh, faster and more efficient, we're gonna do it. Puma Indianapolis facility, we've got a wide range of automation. At the heart of it all is the Autosor Black Line. We have Cartney Erector, we have automated box cutters in place, automatic tray formers and litters, customized packaging in place, as well as extendable conveyors and auto bagging equipment. And uh, Bastion actually brought this together into an end-to-end -end solution, you know, from start, from the receiving up to the outbound. And with the integrated solution, Auto Store together with IPAC, with the customized packaging, we are saving space on trucks and ultimately also freight charges. Working with the Bastion Solutions team is really critical to what we had to get done here. Bastion Solutions Exacta software, um, for all intents and purposes, runs the facility. Exacta is a primary interface that a lot of our customers use in order to work with our system and as well as their WMS. It links the two together into a cohesive uh, environment, as well ensures that we have accurate routing of boxes order tracking, inventory management, all those things together, um, exactly works to make a reality for our customers. So all of these different technology that Fashion Solution has offered to us have made the operation much more efficient. Puma's Indianapolis Distribution Center has a very logical flow. We receive an ASN, uh, which is an advanced shipping notice, and that basically has the POs and the items that we will be receiving in product is unloaded onto a conveyor. It goes through a cuba scan so that we know the size of the product. That's received in off of the conveyor system. And then it's either directed to reserve or directed into auto store where it's inducted into one of the bins. The auto store then divvies out product to pick stations, which operators pull out, put in boxes. It goes through a packaging sequence goes through a labeling sequence to eventually make the way to an automatic litting process. This litter reduces the height of the box so it fits exactly the contents are inside, reducing the amount of space waste, sends it to a shipping sorter and out the doors it goes to happy customers. I think in our business it's innovate or die. I really feel like you're either moving forward and you're using technology and, and automation and innovation uh, to get better uh, or you're going backwards. So I think this was the game changer for Puma and the story continued together with Bastion.